New Tool Day Tuesday, where I share with you guys a unique or useful tool that I myself use that I think you might be interested in. Now today's tool is a relay tester, and as you can see, this particular tester will check three different styles of relays. Now how it functions per the manual is really simple. If you have a four pin relay, you plug in the four pin relay, you give it 12 volts of power using these alligator clips, and you select the switch to four pin and you press the test button. What it does is it cycles through 10 different times and it checks each pin for continuity and it puts it under a little bit of a load because sometimes continuity isn't enough. The load will tell you if the contacts are actually capable of carrying the current or not. So these are very useful to have if you have a lot of relays. Now obviously you can test a relay with a multimeter and a power source, but if you have a bunch of them, these guys can come in handy because they'll save you time. Now this particular model also checks a five pin relay as well. So that would be if you have normally open and normally closed contacts, it'll check both of those contacts and put it under load. If everything checks out, you will get a green light. If it fails, meaning it doesn't carry the load, it doesn't detect if the continuity was there when it needed to be, it'll give you a red light. All of that sounds good, unless you ordered the cheapest relay tester from Amazon like I did, and it is broken out of the box. Now I did tear it apart and I took a look at it and quite honestly, some of the soldering in this guy is the worst I have ever seen. And I have taken electronics in my life and uh, I was pretty bad at soldering at one point and this would have made me look like a professional. Now, I can't do a tool review on something that doesn't work, but what I did do is I ordered a way better unit than this guy here. Electronic Specialties, the same people who make this Load Pro, if you haven't seen that video, I will put a link right there, makes their very own relay tester, and it is by far one of the better relay testers I've seen on the market. I have ordered one, and when it arrives, it'll be a Tool Tuesday. So I apologize I couldn't show you a relay tester. That worked at least. But uh, this is what we got. When you go cheap like I did, sometimes it just doesn't play in your favor. And I'm all about cheap tools, as you know from my videos, but you know, sometimes you get what you pay for. Sometimes you find that right gem. And I think with this particular company, we're gonna find a really nice gem. So bear with me, like and subscribe, take a look at some of my other videos, and at the very least, you might be entertained.